three and a half years ago, we had an interview in Liverpool Echo Arena and I lost. And I, did, I was all hype and that today I proved I'm not. I'm just made up. I had this, I had this and I listened to them and I just done what I was made to do. I would, I, I've not <laughs> swore all night. <laughs> Fuck off. You haven't Tell swore all night? Are you fucking messing? No, I haven't. You have. All you've done is swear, you mad bastard. <laughs> How does it feel to get to that point where you are having that, yes, I am here to stay, this isn't going to be taken away from me, which I feel like yeah. was a bit of a worry early on in your career? Yeah, I feel like when I stepped into the UFC, it was a bit too much too soon. Do you know what I mean? I'd had nine fights, including my amateur fights, and was on the, the biggest stage. And I had to do a lot of growing in the ground, on the floor, in front of everyone. And mm -hmm. sometimes it didn't go so well, but I learned a lot. I learned a lot in those lessons and in those fights. My May, always in every fight camp, something happens, something goes wrong, someone dies, someone's diagnosed as the dying, they've had to break up with my girlfriend, like, mm -hmm. or an ex, or some, like, big shit in life happens, or I've lost the fight, or I've lost two fights and then got to come back, and I just think, how do you come back? You just, it's this, this is all it is. So, somatic type-wise, people, I've got an upper hand on me because of the length, so the shots... And shot selection can be more varied than what mine is. Mm -hmm. But I'm I'm willing to work harder than, than that person. And I remember being a kid, walking to boxing gyms now, walking to this old gyms now, this, this, is no no girls, no girls, no girls. It was, I'm willing to work harder than, than that person. And I remember being a kid, walking to boxing gyms now, walking to this old gyms now, this, this, is no no girls, no girls, no girls. It was traditional, Mark. It was karate, kickboxing and Thai boxing, which welcomed me. And I think it was good that I learned the traditional values of karate and then, like, the spiritual values of, like, Thai boxing. Mm -hmm. Like, a Thai taught me to, like, Thai boxing. Wow. And, and when you learn that, you have a different respect for the sport. Hey, congratulations. I finished a few calls on, you know, you told me today you wanted to just not do the UFC and fight in September the 1st in Liverpool and defend your belt. Yeah. We're just going to can it. Because you're going to be fighting at the UFC in, in Liverpool instead. Are you joking me? May 27th at the Echo Arena in Liverpool. Molly yeah. McCann will be making her UFC debut. Oh my god! People coming to the Echo are going to be feeling what I felt a million times before, and anyone who's not from Liverpool will be quite hostile. Let's talk about your opponent, Gillian Robertson. She said quite openly that she feels she's going to finish you in some way in the first round. I know that does get you a little bit oh animated. So how do you feel about that? Oh my god. <laughs> I don't know if she's trying to get a few extra followers or whatnot, but I've never been finished. Um, I've had one loss and that was in Brazil and it was a three round war and I won it. I just, I didn't get the decision against the Brazilian in Brazil, so she's got more chance of to know, <laughs> if I'm being honest. Um, I don't know, I'm going to knock her head off. Don't stand! Don't stand, watch your neck. Control the 
Jets to the hung. Look out, tight squeeze from Roberts in there, so, tight squeeze. That looks so, Molly McCann's trying to scrabble McCann did not want to tap. She's out, she's out, she's out, she's out. And that is it. Jillian the Savage Robertson comes into Echo Arena, into Molly McCann's hometown. Savage indeed. This feeling doesn't sit well with me, so it's kind of like I just just apologised to Paul and said I'll be back in the gym tomorrow and we'll go again but oh dear, it's a mad place to be when you're used to the top you know and when when I walked out you heard the crowd and you're seeing the kind of connection that I've got with them so it's it's a real tough bitter pill to swallow but I've got to react and respond in the better way and still be a role model and do what's right and not, not think it and go in the wrong direction you know I'm, I'm really humbled, I'm devastated, I didn't get the win for years and, um, and I'll come back a better version of myself and thank you for, for spending the time and, and the money coming down. I was told by the UFC, Priscilla Cacciuere, UFC London, if you get finished in this fight, you're caught and you're never coming back. My fucking life depended on it. I come out with start blocks like you saying fucking balls. I was like, boom. My word is Molly McCann fired up for this. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Oh. I took it down. I nearly got the arm bar. I felt her arm snap and she didn't tap and I thought, okay, you're like me. I probably left a bit of my life and soul in, in that O2 arena. And there was moments in that fight where I could have shied away and I could have give up. Cut, right hook. Oh, oh we see it. there's a big oh, my God. left eye of Molly McCann. Yeah, all right. Oh, I had broken orbital bone, ripped tear ducts, ripped sinus, split eyelids, drew me in, and I just didn't give up. She put her hands in me plaits and pulled me to knee me in the head. You see me go, come on then, and like, we just sit in the pocket for a bit and have a go. I couldn't see how far away she was. There's some backhands that hit me eye and I just felt the bone crack again. I just knew if I if I give in here, it's done. She really has continued to improve all the way through her career. She still maintains that. And then when I hear the klaxon for the last 10, I just put my finger up to her and ran away. Because I thought, aha, you still tried to cheat and couldn't beat me with one eye. With one eye, you couldn't beat me. The way you see me celebrate after that fight, the pain that I was in, crying down the camera, this is how much it means. Like I was willing to die in it. I've never been able to get that feeling again. We did it! Ladies and gentlemen, people, Molly McCann! Molly McCann will see if Belvita can make her stay. Mission perhaps tonight will be the night. Oh, yeah. This is bad. 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 You're the first English female to win in the UFC, as everybody knows. You're now the first English female to feature on the main card in the UFC. That. I've just got goosebumps as you said. You're the, first, you're the first person who's actually just say, said it, said it to me. I've just got faces in the night! Yeah.
Don't can I do it no more Show me do it forever You've never got no money Cause of all the times you lend Was it a pointless three day bender Or a weekend in paradise My friend You working class Everyone who's come for me I appreciate you To see everyone else on this card Who didn't want it as much They let you down I will not let you down I'm not Everton Football Club Yeah, it does not. Oh, it's all right, lad. I'm, it's like Gillian Robertson all over. <laughs>